Hi, I'm Michael Snyder, Commissioner of Vermont's Department of Forest Parks and Recreation. We expect another excellent fall foliage season here in Vermont, largely because we had abundant rain, but we also had abundant sunshine throughout the summer. So abundant moisture, abundant sunshine in trees that are generally healthy, as ours have been, it's a recipe for a spectacular fall foliage season. As the days start to get shorter and the temperatures start to drop, let's stay above freezing, trees kind of tune into that and realize that winter's coming. One of the things they do is start to pull things back into the main part of the tree from the leaves, uh, including these expensive chemicals that they work so hard to make, like chlorophyll. And they break the chlorophyll down and start to bring back the, the components to kind of recycle them, uh, other pigments become unmasked. The leaves are very vulnerable at this time as they're shutting down and uh, temperatures are changing and the anthocyanins that are produced at that time of year and it results in these red colors. Then so now you have some green, you have some yellow, you have some red and you have all these different mixtures. So you get different hues, different tones, uh, even some, some bordering on kind of purple and almost blue, which is when you, when you see it all happen across the hillside in varying stages due to age, due, due, due to timing, due to previous health of each individual tree, you get these mixtures. Uh, so it's quite a mixed bag, all having to do with the living physiology of the tree gearing up for winter.